Hi everyone, back here again for another video. Today, let's have more K380 keyboard shortcuts, specifically for the iPad. If you want more keyboard shortcuts, you can find my other video that I made a few months ago. Seems you guys liked that video, so hope you like this too, and will find it useful. So let's get into it. First, to unlock the iPad is by tapping on any keys. The first tap is to wake up the screen. For the iPad Air, you need to do a second tap so you can enter your passcode or scan your fingerprint. For the iPad Pro, the second tap will unlock the screen as it already activated Face ID on the first tap. Then to lock the iPad, use the shortcut Control, Command, and Q. Next one is one of my favorite keyboard shortcuts, which is to open the spotlight search by doing command and spacebar. If I want to open apps, I don't need to touch the screen and swipe on the home screen and go into folders to open an app. I simply do command and spacebar and search for the app I want to open. Or if I want to search for anything on the web, I don't need to find Safari on my iPad home screen uh, and tap on the URL bar to search what I want. I simply open Spotlight Search to do a web search. Now to take a screenshot, there are two options. Function plus tab keys work the same as Command, Shift, and 3. This will take the screenshot and you need to tap on it to bring it up. Or you could also do Command, Shift, and 4. This is to take the screenshot and go to the editor page where you can crop it or add, add highlights or mark it up. I barely go back to the home screen as, as I said, I always use the spotlight search or I use command tab to switch to my previously open tabs. But if I want to go to the home screen, there are three ways to do it on the K380. First one is to do command H. Second one is use the F4 function key. Third one is to use the F7 function key. F4 and F7 function keys work the same way. Also, when you double tap on the F4 and F7 keys, this will display the app switcher. I can also zoom in and out using the keyboard on certain apps, for example, Safari. I use the command and the plus key to zoom in and command and minus key to zoom out. For some apps, like for example, GoodNotes, it works a bit different where I use option and plus to zoom in and option and minus to zoom out. Next one, it's not really shortcuts, but as we know, we have the function keys on the K380 and all of these are pretty straightforward to use. We have the escape key and the F1, F2, F3 are the switches to different devices. And as I've mentioned earlier, F4 and F7 will either take you back to the home screen in one tap, double tap will bring you to the app switcher. F5 really doesn't do anything, while F6 will display the virtual keyboard or hide it. The F7 to F12 keys are the media control keys where you could do the usual pause, play, adjust the volume, and mute. And the last key will be the delete key. And the M585 Bluetooth mouse, it is a good mouse too. Now let's move to shortcuts when typing and I will start with some general shortcuts. So this can work on Google Docs, for example, but also on pages or notes or even when typing in Safari. My favorite of all is the command and shift and the arrow right or left to highlight a line. With this, I can easily format it using the usual command B for bold, U for underline or I for italics, or even delete the line. Another way to easily delete the line is by doing command and the delete key. Now, if I want to delete not the whole line, but just a word or two, what I can do is the shortcut option and delete. The option plus the arrow left and right will also work if I want to move the cursor per word. 
This saves a lot of time than just pressing the arrow key one letter at a time. And if I want to highlight a few words within a line, then I move the cursor to that word and then hold on shift with the option and then press arrow left and right to highlight those words. Last one in the general shortcuts is the command and F, which works as usual on most apps, handy when I want to find some words in a document or a web page. Now, let's move to shortcuts when typing in Google Docs, and here I will focus on the web version and not the app. Remember my favorite shortcut, the command shift and arrow left and right to highlight a line? Well, I can also move the line easily by doing control, shift, and arrow up and down. I think this is very useful when editing bullet points or number lists, or simply just to make it faster to move any lines within your document. If I want to increase the font size, I can do that by doing command, shift, and dot or period key. And on the other hand, if I want to decrease or make the font size smaller, I can do that by doing Command, Shift, and the comma key. To add bullet points, I usually just do dash and space, and it will automatically turn it to a dashed or a bullet point. But another way to add the bullet point or the number list are these shortcuts. I can do Command, Shift, and 8, to change a line and to make it a bullet point. Or to make it a numbered list, I can do Command, Shift, and 7. And I can do the same commands or shortcut to remove it if it's already there. Now, if I want to add a hyperlink, I can highlight a word or a couple of words. Then, to add a hyperlink, I can use Command and K. I can add a URL or even part of the document as a hyperlink. Now, if I have a long document, I can do the shortcut Command and Arrow Up to go to the top of the page. Or I can do Command and the Down key to go to the bottom of the page. But if I want to move in between paragraphs without using a mouse, I can do the shortcut option arrow up or down instead of going line by line until I reach the paragraph I want. When I want to copy something from a web page and paste it in Google Docs, the format is taking it from the web page and can most of the time look really messy. So to quickly fix this, I paste first what I copied from the web. Then I highlight a paragraph in my document and do Command Option C. This is to copy just the formatting style of this paragraph. Then I go back and highlight what I pasted from the web and I do the shortcut Command Option V to paste the formatting style. Next, to do a word count in Google Docs, you can use the shortcut Command, Shift, and C. To do a spell or grammar check, use the shortcut Command, Option, X. Then in the pop-up, I can do the tab and spacebar to do the next actions. Let's finish off with some useful shortcuts when browsing in Safari. First one, Command W is to close a tab. To reopen the tab that was just closed, do Command, Shift, and T. To open a new tab, do Command, and N. And to enter a new URL or go to the search bar without touching the screen, use Command, and L. To reload a page, use the shortcut Command, and R. Command, Control, and 1 is to show my bookmarks. Command, Control, and 2 is to show the saved reading list. And Command, Control, and 3 is to show the browsing history. Next, Command, Shift, and the backslash 
is to show the tabs overview where you can see all the squares of your open browsers. And finally, to switch tabs in Safari, and this also works in Chrome, use the shortcut Control and Tab. Or you can also do Command 1, Command 2, or 3 for the tab numbers to quickly move around the tabs. So hope this video is helpful to you. If it is, give it a like. It will truly help my channel. Again, you can watch my other video to complement this and add more shortcuts when using the K3AT keyboard. So that's it. Thanks for watching.